What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back in again with another video. So, we need to talk about this. Crown Jewel is right around the corner. And I did plan on making this video a little bit closer to Crown Jewel, but I decided to make this video a little bit earlier only because I, I just wanted to have this conversation. Roman must win at Crown Jewel against Brock Lesnar. There's really no if, ands, and buts about it. There's no other way to spin this. He needs to win at Crown Jewel. I'm going to list some of the reasons why he needs to win at Crown Jewel. And in the fashion that he needs to win at Crown Jewel. So if you guys are interested in more videos like this, let me know. Videos where I'm talking about certain things that I feel like WWE should take, you know, what directions they should take their wrestlers in uh i want to i like having these little introspective videos because a lot of times i'll be thinking about these type of vids you know off camera i just don't ever record my thoughts so this is one of the few times i will so if you want me to keep doing videos like this i definitely will for you guys so one of the one reason i can think of offhand that roman needs to win this match at crown jewel is the fact that this is the roman that has elevated his game in the ring on the mic his persona is so much different from the roman of old where wwe and vince is trying to force us to like him and he constantly kept getting his ass beat by brock we need this roman to completely put in the work storyline wise in the ring and really actually go to war with brock here we don't, I don't want to see this match being one-sided and then all of a sudden Roman gains the upper hand. No, I want it to be a back and forth where even Brock Lesnar is taken aback because he's not used to this Roman being the way he is. I want to see the Roman that's talking trash to all his opponents. If you guys notice, he has been talking trash to everyone he faces. When he gets the upper hand, he starts talking mad trash. That's the Roman we need. I want him to talk trash to Brock while he's beating down on him. We need that. Which goes into what I was saying earlier on how he wins. I don't want him to cheat. I'm going to be honest. I don't want him to cheat to beat Brock Lesnar. I want him to win legitimately. And I want him to win clean. That's, that's the best for me personally. That would be the best booking. You have him win legitimately. You have him win clean. If he ends up using the Usos to win, I think it dampens it because it doesn't give him that final validation like, yeah, I finally overcame him. Because at the end of the day, yes, we know Roman is a heel, but he has beaten people clean. And I like that. That makes him a credible champion. Too many times WWE think, just because you're a heel, you can't win clean. No, you can win clean. And I like when heels legitimately win clean. Because it's like, yo, I beat you. I didn't have to cheat. I beat you just off because I'm better than you at that time. So I like that. That's what we need. So we it, 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 it enhances Roman's legacy. Because yes, Roman has beaten Brock before. But how many times did it take him to do it? How many times was he forced by management and booking wise to beat Brock it didn't come off believable it didn't come off making sense now if he beats Brock it just enhances him he's like bro I'm I'm on a roll right now another reason I don't think Brock should win this match because Brock he's one of these talents he's gonna be at the top of the card no matter if he takes a win or he takes a loss if you guys remember when he beat the Undertaker streak I'm going to be honest with you. He should have never beaten the streak. The reason why I say that is because it didn't matter if Brock Lesnar beat The Undertaker. He was going to get a title opportunity regardless in the future because it's Brock Lesnar. He didn't have to beat the streak for that. So that was my only thing. And the same here. I don't think he needs to be Roman. He doesn't need to beat Roman, Roman Reigns' uh, win streak right now. Because he's on like, uh, I think he's held the championship for over 400 days. I know you guys will let me know down below uh, the actual day about day count. But he doesn't need to take that streak from Roman. Why? 
He doesn't need that. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Brock Lesnar is a main event. You're going to have him in a main event feud or a main event title opportunity at some point. So he doesn't really need this win at all. It, it doesn't enhance Brock Lesnar's legacy. And say for, for whatever God's forsaken reason they decide to let Brock Lesnar win at Crown Jewel, what does it do for SmackDown? Tell me. We're not going to see him. That's the one thing I didn't like about Brock Lesnar's title reign. You barely saw the guy. At least with Roman, he may not wrestle every night, but you see him every week. He's the highlight of the show. Brock be chilling, chilling at the crib. He, he ain't going to bring it. We wouldn't see him until the like a major pay-per-view, bro, or one one-off appearance. That's it. So it would be SmackDown would literally would have just their the Universal Championship held hostage. And to be frankly honest, Roman Reigns has been undoubtedly the best Universal Champion ever. It's not saying much, but he's been the best champion because he's been defending it. And he's been putting prestige on that championship. He has made that blueberry belt seem way more prestigious than the WWE Championship. I didn't think anybody could make that belt that prestigious, but he did. Not even Brock could do it because Brock didn't give a fuck. He was barely on the show. So that's another reason why I think Brock should not win this because we're never going to see the championship. We're never going to see the champion defended except one off pay-per-views. So I, I think they have the perfect storm here in Roman Reigns where you capitalize I know some people are probably getting tired of Roman winning matches. Oh, all his matches are predictable. But this is one of the few matches I have been looking forward to as soon as Roman was in his stride as a heel, beating all these top-tier wrestlers. I was like, I can't wait to him for him to face Brock Lesnar again as a heel. Because now we get this interesting storyline with Paul Heyman. Who is he going to side? That's that. It adds more intrigue to the feud, to the story. And for the simple fact that you have Roman win, now he's even more legitimate. His title reign is even more legitimate. Because now you can say not only did he beat Daniel Bryan and kayfabe sent him to a, he's no longer on WWE at all. He's beat Daniel Bryan. He's beaten John Cena. And he would have beaten Brock Lesnar. Within the same year, in only a few months, that's good resume. On top of everyone else he's beaten, he's beaten Edge. He's beaten Edge and Daniel Bryan at the same time, pinned them both at WrestleMania. Bro, it's just padding his, this title reign as something legendary. We've had some of the greatest matches from people we didn't think we would ever see in a main event spotlight. Cesaro, I really wish they would have continued the feud. Cesaro, is it that match was one of the best matches I have ever seen from Cesaro. And that that few times, that that little few weeks he was in the main event spotlight, it was lovely to see that, bro. It was great. So I want him to remain the champion because now we can still continue some feuds. We can potentially get some more people to get into that main event spotlight with Roman because everyone's going to try to take down Roman and I like that you can't do that with Brock Lesnar you can't if he's the champ because at the end of the day you ain't going to see him much so and another big reason probably my last reason I can think of right now is the fact that Brock comes back to this crown jewel pay-per-view wins the title Roman Reigns championship run literally means nothing I'm being super serious here it means absolutely nothing everyone that he's beaten all the amazing promos all the amazing stories all that is for nothing it is you might as well just throw it in the trash everyone that he's beaten would have it doesn't matter that title reign doesn't matter anymore because we let somebody that doesn't that's not really around in wwe like that he is what you call a mega part-timer come in take the title from him and then we're not going to see the championship no more 
for all months at a time. It literally would negate his title reign. So it would be no point. The only time I'm going to see Roman lose is to someone that WWE has built up as the next guy up. And when he loses to that person, it makes sense. It makes sense because that title reign has come to an end. It will still be a legendary title reign. It won't feel wasted. And now he beat someone that beat all these legendary future Hall of Famers, Hall of Famer individuals. And now he's the next guy to carry the company on his back. That is how you create new stars. You can't. We not it's it's less believable that a new star is gonna take down Brock Lesnar. It is. It's more believable if a new star takes down Roman Reigns than we see on a weekly basis. It is. Because the only person I could ever see taking the title back from Brock would be Roman. And that would be dumb because it'd be like, what was the point of giving the title back to Roman? If you was just going to take it off him from the jump. So ultimately, they need to have Roman win the champion, retain the championship, beat Brock Lesnar. It doesn't have to be a dominating fashion. It can be like what it was with Roman Reigns and John Cena. John Cena had some offense at SummerSlam. But ultimately, Roman Reigns got the job done. So I would like it to be a clean win, a decisive victory. And we look at, at Roman as the guy that he's that he's proved himself to be. This will be his toughest opponent on paper, kayfabe wise. And I just really want to see him continue the streak. Because ultimately, I think they're trying to get The Rock in Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And what better way to really build up your title reign when you can say, bro, I beat the ball. And then you face The Rock. And even then, at that point, I would still have him go over The Rock because The Rock's not going to be around. This is how you make someone a mega superstar. His time will come when he's re- when it's time for him to drop the championship when we have found someone formidable to take that mantle. Until then, definitely needs to keep maintaining his dominance. And this is another great way to do that by him beating Brock Lesnar. So... Comment down below. Let me know. If you guys agree with my sentiments on him beating Brock Lesnar. If you guys disagree, let me know why. Why? Let me know why you think Brock Lesnar should uh, regain the Universal Championship. I would like to know why you think that should be a possibility. I appreciate all the love and support, man. Road to CCK. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. I'll see y'all next week. Peace.